With a three circle blog module, we can change the gray background here on blog. We can change the diagonal line. We can change the date here. Of course, we can change the title. Uh, if you haven't watched the first video yet, you need to have blog posts and assigned images uh, in order for these blog posts to work. So do have a look at that first video if you haven't seen it yet. Let's go ahead and make some updates to this one. So uh, some of these colors need to be updated in the master CSS color changer. You want to look for three circle block module. Uh, we've got a line behind the image, which is this diagonal line here. So we're just going to change that to another light color, light green, and then color of the date the, over there. I'm going to grab this again and just do a light green there and that's the rest. So you can change the month color if you want. I'm just going to leave it black. You can also change the font if you want. In this case, we're just going to leave it the same. So let me copy all of those rules. We can paste them into the page specific CSS box. Let's click the update button and let's do that. Then we can reload the page. There we go, so those are updated. So we just want to change the title color here and possibly that gray text on the blog. Um, so let's have a look first. Let me go and uh, open this one, uh, the title there. Uh, so let's see, so you can change this to blog. Let's say, for example, we can change it to news if we want. And then we're looking for that color over there so that gray we want to change let me just grab the light green again because that will keep it uniform there we go and then we can have a quick preview there we go so that's changed and now all we want to do is change those title colors there so i'm going to save and exit let me just grab a dark green color in this instance and then let's open the blog module uh, so let's do that and then here you can display the number of posts so maybe you've got six or maybe you've got nine important that you assign the posts the, uh, the categories in this case we haven't assigned them which means it will just display all the ones that are there uh, so we put them in there I'm just gonna select them if you create a new blog post and you assign a new category you have to remember to come back and tick the category otherwise that blog post just won't show up on the page so let's see if there's anything else these settings I would just leave them as default because we've designed them that way let's go further and let's go and change that color to a bright green or darker green uh, and then that would be it so let's save let's hit the update button and then we can reload the page for the final result there we go that's updated all of these are updated etc one last thing is uh, the titles you can see this one's labeled blog long title uh, what happens is it truncates uh, after a certain length and the reason is so that the boxes can all stay the same height so if you have a very long title it will automatically truncate and that wraps it up for this video thanks for watching